In this video, we will learn how to add Google Lead Form submissions to Google Sheets automatically. So I have created a Google Lead Form using Google Ads and whenever the new lead is captured, I want to add these leads to Google Sheets automatically so that I don't need to export the leads every day and add it to Google Sheets. And I'm going to create this automation with the help of an automation software. And if you also want to automate your lead capturing process in Google Sheets in real time, just follow my tutorial till end and you can also implement this very easily. So in order to capture the Google lead form leads to Google Sheets in real time, I'll have to create a connection in between them, which I'm going to do with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an automation and integration software. You can also reach to this website by typing pabli.com slash connect. I will also attach this link in my description box. Now first create your free account from this blue button and you will also get free task to test this automation in the free account. Now I'm going to click on sign in because I am already an existing user now click on access now and this is how you will reach to the dashboard of Pabli connect from where exactly we are going to start creating our automation our workflow okay so click on this blue button create workflow and enter the workflow name here so provide any random name I am providing the name as add Google leads to Google Sheets in real time. Okay, click on create and you will see two boxes in front of you. Trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. When this happens, do this. Understand with an example. Whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application, send an email via Gmail application. According to our use case, whenever a new lead is arrived in Google lead form, add the very same lead in Google Sheets application. So basically, we need to select the application in which we are setting up an automation so that is why most my first application will be google lead form and i am going to connect to google lead form with pabli connect first so that the data can be captured here first in the pabli connect and this is how i am going to create this automation further and with the help of this webhook url i am going to establish this connection and the instruction for the same has already given okay you can follow these instructions and build the connection now i will sign in to my google ads account and will click on this lead form extension and this is how i'm going to create a new google lead form okay so click on extension and click on this plus icon and here you will find the option of lead form extension okay open that and i am going to create a new campaign okay basically i'm going to create a new lead ad form that is why i have clicked on this create new button so let's create our Google lead form one by one by filling out the details. Okay. So assume that I'm running a traveling agency and I am creating a travel booking form for the people. Okay. So let's keep a headline of that form as travel booking form. All right. I have already prepared the details. All right. Let's provide the business name. Assume that my business name is traveling agency. Now it is asking for the description. So I have even prepared the description also provide the details by filling out the form and we will arrange a stay for you and you can see whatever I am actually creating here you can see the preview from the right side all right now I'm going to add few questions to my form so I want the name the phone number the email ID and few more details from the customers who are actually planning for the stay okay so I can actually add the questions directly from this plus icon questions okay let's open the travel option and you will find all the relevant question related to travel here and I want to ask the travel budget of the person okay and here I'm going to select the multiple choice and let's provide few options few budget options to the people 30k plus all right second option let's say uh, 50k plus all right and let's say uh, I am also providing 80k plus budget for the traveling so that they can actually fill out single option as per their choice as per their requirement now again I'm going to add one more question and that is again related to travel only let's open that particular section and here I am going to select the destination city what is that destination city so as in traveling agency I am providing the uh, tours of three places Sikkim Goa 
and Himachal. So let's provide these three options in my form. And last but not the least, I'm going to add one more question here, which is actually related to the date of traveling because I want to actually grab this particular information also from the people. What is your preferred day for the stay? All right. And let's select this particular option as short answer. So I have created my form. Let me even show you the preview for the same. So this is the form traveling agency. I am asking the uh, full name, email, phone number, travel budget. What is your travel budget? What is your destination city? The preferred date for the state and here exactly the submit button. Okay, let's proceed further and here you will have to provide a po privacy policy URL. So how about I provide the policy URL from the Pabli website only? Okay, let me open that website. All right. And let me go to the footer section and here is the privacy policy. Let's copy this particular link and paste it here in my form. All right, now I'm going to fill this form submission message. So I want thank you for filling out the form and uh, someone from our team will contact you soon. Okay. So this is the message I want to be appear once people will fill out the form. Okay, let me correct the spellings. Thank you for filling the form because it is actually exceeding the limit. All right. In case you want to add any call to action, you can also do the same. I am going to select none. And finally, I will go to the down section and here I will actually select the export leads from Google Ads open that particular section and again go down and here you will find the option of other data integration option and here we actually we are actually looking for this webhook integration basically the data integration option via webhook why webhook because remember Pabli connect has provided a webhook url we are going to copy this webhook url and paste it here and this is how we are going to build the connection it is asking for the key let's provide a random key here okay i have provided the same now it is giving you an option of send test data let me first take you back to the public connect account and read the instructions first okay log into the application where you have added the webhook url and do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response so basically it is asking asking us to do a test submission and here since I am not running any live advertisement here so that is why I am going to directly click on the send test because I cannot actually capture the real leads from my Google Ads from my Google lead form so how about I click on this button and you will see a test data will be automatically capture here okay i'm telling you this again since i'm not running any live ads that is why i am going to use this test data okay click over here send test data the test data sent go back to public connect wait for the response and you will see and yes the response is received let me even show you the details one by one you can see under the full name we have a test data of first name and last name under the phone number we have this particular data and we have this testing email address of the people assume that someone has shown an interest in your travel advertisement and this is how they have actually filled out the form and you have actually got the lead and this is exactly the lead information the lead data and the person's email is test at the rate example.com and he has selected the choice as in the travel budget he has selected this 30k plus okay I have actually made a silly mistake here instead of providing this plus icon I have provided actually the equal to don't worry I will actually correct it later now I have another detail as Sikkim because I have asked to the people that what is your destination city finally the preferred day date for the stay in which the test data has provided us this particular value the example answer so that means the first step of our integration is completed now we are going to send these details we are going to add these lead data 
to Google Sheet directly. So that is why in the next application, I will select Google Sheets as my next application, basically as my action application and an action event since I want to add new row and I want to further add the details in that particular row. That is why the action event will be the same and click on connect, click on add new connection, click on connect with Google Sheets, provide the access of your account in which you have created your Google Sheets. All right, I have provided the same. Now finally provide the access, I click on continue and don't worry, Pabli Connect is 100% safe. So the authorization is successful and your Google Sheet is connected with Pabli Connect. And in the first section, in the first field, select field, you will find all the spreadsheets of your account since we are connected and here I am going to select which particular sheet well the name of my sheet is all travel inquiries coming via Google Ads so let's select the same well it has selected automatically and in the sheet one well I'm going to select the same well again this has already selected now you can see few details are there which we need to provide and from where exactly these details these fields are actually came from well let me show you the sheet which I have created in that particular sheet I have provided one two three four five six columns with the travelers full name phone number email budget uh, city they have selected for traveling and preferred date first and you will find all these options here only the travelers full name phone number email budget uh, and the city they have selected for and the preferred day for stay okay so this is how one by one I'm going to fill this data and that same data will be added here automatically in my Google sheet and from where and how I'm going to do that well remember we have just received the response in the above step we are going to map the same response here also and I don't need to copy and paste that particular response read here enter text or map data so we are going to insert the data from previous step directly from this drop down and it is asking for the traveler's full name okay so i am going to provide the full name which is actually the first name and last name let's proceed and secondly it is asking for the phone number of the lead so here i am having the phone number of the person again click here and that particular detail will be also mapped the third thing it is asking for the email address how about i search it directly with the help of at the rate because uh, email id always consists of this at the rate okay i have done the same and now finally it is asking for the budget well instead of equal to it should be actually the plus sign but don't worry i will actually correct it and the city they have selected for well they have selected for the sikkim as far as i remember yes the sikkim is actually the city and preferred day for the stay preferred date for the stay okay again open this drop down and let me find that particular value which the google ads has provided us as the test data okay example answer was actually the test data all right i have filled all the dummy details provided by the previous step basically by the google ads okay now let's click on this button save and send this request and wait for the response yes the response is received go back to your google sheet and yes here also that particular test data basically the lead has been added automatically in google sheet and this is how now onwards whenever someone is going to fill your google lead form basically the live ad form the details for the same will be automatically added to google sheets that to in real time you do not have to export the leads in every few hours or every day all right and here i would like to tell you one more thing whatever the details i have mapped in these fields are going to change are going to to replace automatically as soon as the new lead has arrived okay so assume that a new lead is arrived the detail for the same has will be replaced automatically from here and that new data will be added to the next row of google sheets in case you want to clone this whole setup into your account you can actually do this because i'm going to attach the link of the same workflow in my description box and the last thing i would like to tell you is that which lot of people ask me even after 
after watching the full tutorial that do they really need to do any settings once again well let me tell you once you have created the automation inside pably connect simply close pably connect because everything will work in the backend pably connect will do its job in backend and this is the share workflow link which i am going to attach in my description box not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video